I got my new boots, I got my new boots, I got my new boots on, I got my new boots on, I got my new boots on, it's time for winter song, I got my new, new, new boots on. <laughs> This is Nicole, and I got fancy new winter boots. <laughs> Pretty nice. Look at this. Wow. Look at those. They just make you want to tap your toes and dance in the snow. Tonight, I am going to show you my favorite breakfast meal prep that I am prepping for weight loss for an entire week. A whole week's worth of meal prep. Protein pancakes. Super tasty, super easy, plus a bonus that you can enjoy with your protein pancakes. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, the friends, I have been losing weight consistently. I've lost 20 pounds in the last three months, and I've been eating this breakfast very frequently. I'm going to make an entire week of these protein pancakes. So I have seven containers for one for every day of the week. I got these from Walmart. I like that they have the dividers because I'm also gonna put berries in the little compartment along with my pancakes. So first, you literally need two things to do this. Water, and because I'm making seven days worth, I'm gonna need two and two thirds cup of water. And if you want the recipe for water, we have a video in the playlist. Yeah, so go, right. check, go check that out. It's very short, but. Protein pancake mix. I'm using one in Canada from a grocery store called Zares. You can literally get protein pancake mix at any grocery store. I look for the kind that's about 200 calories for half a cup of batter so or pancakes. Get any one you guys like. Any one you like. You can get them online. You can get them in any grocery store. And we're in Canada, so in the States, you probably have way more options. So this one is the PC Blue Menu, and it comes in apple cinnamon. It also comes in buttermilk. The apple cinnamon is my current favorite. So you need, ooh, first you gotta learn how to open the bag. We're gonna do, measure it out. I need three and a half cups for seven days. So I'm just gonna pour what's left in here. Oh, that's, that mix smells good. It smells so good. It has a really good apple cinnamon flavor. And I love this because I always prep in advance for work. And this is literally so easy. I can make so many in advance and I can throw half in the fridge and half in the freezer and just thaw them out as I need it. Which I love really easy to prep stuff. It really keeps me on track. Come on, baby. All right, that, uh, <laughs> go big or go. <laughs> okay, three and a half cups going in. I have a large frying pan preheating that I've sprayed lightly with cooking spray. And now I'm just gonna pour in my water. And again, it's two and two thirds cup. You always put a little less water than you do batter so that the batter's a little thicker. And then use whatever to stir. I prefer the fork, I just find it blends it a lot easier and a whisk it seems to get stuck in there. So now you just put your grooving in to it and you just, and I'm still wearing my winter boots by the way. <laughs> I'm all about amusing myself. So you guys see how quick this mixes up too. Okay, so that is it, this is ready. And I'm going to scoop them by the quarter cup full. I do a bit of a heaper I, I call it a heaper. It's a heaping quarter cup. And it usually makes two decent sized pancakes per serving. So I'm gonna put two pancakes per container. Yeah, cook them first. Don't scoop raw batter. And these, I, I've tried that, it doesn't work so well. That would be gross. Perfect timing, the pan is ready. So this is about what I do for batter. And I just drop it in. And see, they make a pretty decent sized pancake. I'm gonna put three in to start. I'm just gonna cook it two to three minutes until it turns bubbly on the top, and then I'm gonna flip them. Don't touch. Don't overcrowd your pan. Don't touch, guys. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Sass hates that. What? 
when I overcrowd the pan. <laughs> See, I got the silent treatment there. Doesn't like crowded pans. Or when you don't spray too, when you spray not enough and stuff sticks. Or when you spray too much. Or when you spray too much. Or when you wear your winter boots in the kitchen. And he doesn't think it's amusing. Let's show him the strawberries now. Okay, so I get these frozen whole strawberries or sliced, whatever's available. It doesn't really matter. These are from Freshco in Canada, but you can get them at Walmart too. And I'm gonna measure half a cup of berries for each container. What I love about the frozen berries, it's good for a budget. They last forever in the freezer and I'm gonna freeze half of these pancakes. So the strawberries are gonna stay frozen and when I put them in the fridge to thaw them overnight, they have like really good juice when they thaw and it flavors the pancakes even more. So I'm gonna go open this one. And I don't like, I'm not super accurate. As long as it's half a cup, you know, I usually scoop a bit over. Fill them up, buttercup. And then we just fill up each tank. And then Hank hopes and prays that something will fall. Hank, yep. where'd you go? Say hi, everyone. Hello. I am ready for my mom to drop stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he actually got a strawberry. It was off camera. <laughs> he was happy about it. Okay, so once they're bubbly like that, we're just gonna flip these guys over. Nice. And then just cook the other side. Oh, that was a slippery bear. Okay, you know sometimes what I just grab it and spink it. Don't do that at home. <laughs> okay, while the pancakes are cooking, don't go away. I told you there'd be a special bonus of something you would enjoy with your breakfast. I'm going to make a special iced coffee with Premier Protein once the pancakes are done. So stay tuned because this is going to be awesome. Yeah. We're going to get weird. I had to take my boots off because I didn't want to get pancakes on them. Now you got sliders. Cookie Monster socks. <laughs> <laughs> Orders up. Orders up. <laughs> Directing traffic. <laughs> Taking the stairs. <laughs> that's not how you do that, but that's fine. It's my own version. The coolest here, version. do the stairs. Do the stairs here. No, isn't that the elevator? Well, you can do the stairs too. Okay. Uh, going down the stairs. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> now you can take the elevator. Okay. Going down. <laughs> going up. Isn't this the cutest breakfast you ever saw? Yeah. Okay, seven days of meal prep. Breakfast is done for the week. I'm going to show you the syrup that I put on this. This is the best combo ever. Protein pancakes with strawberries and chocolate syrup. So this is Walden Farms, the chocolate zero calorie syrup. I put a tablespoon on with my strawberries. I pour it all over and I eat it up so yummy. And I'm going to put three days worth in the fridge. The pancakes and strawberries will keep for about three days in the fridge in airtight containers like these. And then I freeze the rest. 
When I'm ready for more, I pull them out, thaw them overnight in the fridge, and then I reheat them in the microwave. And that is exactly what I do. Pull the pancakes out every day, put them in the microwave for about a minute, and then top it, and that's it. So, we are gonna put these all up in the fridge and freezer. We're gonna do a taste test because there was a bonus. There was a bit of batter left over and Kyle has not actually tried this pancake yet. So I'm gonna just make this in half and then I'm gonna This put... half's bigger, I get this one. Okay, I'll, I'll let you have the bigger. <laughs> I'll mink a little syrup on it. Thanks. Mink a little bit for you, you little globber. I'm gonna steal some of your globs. Yeah. Okay, and I'll get you a bite. You like a little bite there, bug? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feed the friends through the okay. camera. Feed the friends. Then I'm gonna drip chocolate Walden Farms all over the table. That's okay. That's what tables right. are for. Ready, friends? Ready. Mmm. Oh, geez. Oh, that's all right. Mmm. That's good, bub. That is good. Wow. Isn't it good? Mmm. Apple cinnamon and chocolate syrup, man. That's the thing. Okay, now Wait we're gonna. What's oh. this one, man? Yeah. <laughs> you want some help? No. Oh, pretty. I like making a mess. You're pretty talented uh, with. <laughs> You're pretty talented eating in Cameron. Mmm. <laughs> Not only a cameraman, I'm an eater. And a dripper. Mmm. Okay, now we're moving on to the coffee. Oh. <laughs> I guess I won't be using chocolate Walden Farms ever again. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Look at the mess you made. We clean this up. <laughs> hey. Oh no, dogs can't eat chocolate. <laughs> Darn it. Me and Nicole never get to go on dates, so we're going on a coffee date tonight with Premier Protein Iced Coffee, which I'm normally not a huge fan of iced coffee, but we'll try this out. Yeah, no, normally not me either, but the friends, they keep asking for low calorie coffee drinks, and I thought I'd be ready for a change up, so we're going to make and a low calorie iced caramel latte. We're not sponsored by Premier Protein, we just really like it and it's gonna replace milk in the recipe to make it even lower calorie and a bit higher protein. So you need two cups of chilled, cause this makes two servings, so you're gonna need two cups of chilled, strongly brewed black coffee, Premier Protein caramel or vanilla, caramel prefer if you can get it, and some Caramel Walden Farms syrup. And then you can use regular ice cubes, but the piece de resistance is we're gonna use coffee cubes. So when the coffee melt, the coffee cubes melt, it's not gonna water down your coffee like regular ice cubes. Yeah. It's gonna keep the coffee flavor. So I'm gonna get those. I knew I married you for some reason. I've been thinking and trying to search for what that reason was. It's not from my fancy dance moves. <laughs> No, oh. it's from your frozen ice coffee ice cubes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so these are the ice cubes. I'm just gonna mink them these up. These are the coffee cubes. Coffee cubes. That is genius. Yeah. Okay, so I don't actually know why I'm touching them right now. <laughs> what I'm going to do is you could divide the coffee now and pour everything in separate, but I think it'll be much easier if we just do it all in here. So the two cups of coffee are gonna go in this big container here. It's 10.30 at night and we're gonna have a <laughs> coffee. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares about being wired? And we're gonna take the Premier Protein and we're gonna do half a cup. So it's one cup of coffee per serving and a quarter cup of Premier Protein per serving. Glug, 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 Bing it in. Oh, that's already looking smooth. Then shake up your caramel Walden and two tablespoons. So that's one tablespoon per serving. Glug, 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 glug. One and two. 
you guys are just gonna be just amazed. Okay, so now we're gonna stir this up. Oh, get some of that caramelly bits there. It smells amazing. I think it's gonna taste really good. So we're just stir it up until it's really well blended, and then we're gonna divide it between the two glasses and add our coffee cubes. And you gotta get fancy glasses too. Yes, of course. Well, thumbnail action, hello? Okay, so let's do this without spilling, Nicole. Oh yeah. Some for you. This is so beautiful. Wow. Make sure to get it even. That better be even. Oh yeah, sass will measure, that's for sure, with that sassy attitude. Pretty good. Oh, is it sass approved? Yes. Okay, so now it's one cup of coffee cubes that we're gonna divide between the two cups. And this will be going in our new recipe book if we ever get time to finish it. <laughs> I worked on it today. Yeah, you did actually. Okay, so we're gonna divide this up. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Wow. So it works out to about four ice cubes per cup. So if you feel like not sleeping all night, definitely have this at 10.30 p.m. 10.30 p.m. Standard time, Pacific Eastern. <laughs> hey, you gotta film when you gotta film. Does it not look amazing? Yes. Um, so you could probably drink that with a straw, but I'm just gonna take a little sip -a Let's wash these. This is how you stand when you drink a fancy drink. And we'll finish off the video with a lovely sip. This is coffee out of kick. Wow, that's really good. You get the really bold flavor of the strong coffee and the coffee cubes just give it extra flavor. And the caramel. And the pinky finger. You know, I kind of understand why people like iced coffee now. And this actually would go perfect with those pancakes. Yeah, so like make this, it literally took, like you've seen, if you have everything ready, it literally took like a minute. Make it, eat it with your pancakes. You are going to be in protein pancake meal prep heaven. And this is the kind of meal prep that me and Nicole love. Very quick, very easy, very tasty. Jump out of bed in the morning, excited. We're gonna be so wired because I'm drinking that whole thing. <laughs> Oh, I want to tell you the macros of this. Keep in mind, this is just an estimate. This is me. I'm not a mathematician. I'm not a nutrition information. So this is just an estimate. About 37 calories for one serving, 0.7 carbs, 0.5 fat, and five and a half grams of protein for because the of the premier right? protein for the for that drink. So that's pretty good. Like for a coffee drink, five grams. What about grams? the pancakes? According to the nutrition label on the protein pancake bag, it's 200 calories for two pancakes of the size I showed you, and it's about 25 calories for half a cup of strawberries. So about 225 calories, and then add the 37 for the coffee. And again, that's just an estimate. Hope you enjoyed this. Make it up. Let us know if you make the recipes and that you like it. Put it down below. What do you like to top your pancakes with? And are you a nice coffeeer or not? And if you want things really easy, we have two complete weight loss guides, exact recipes, meal plans, and portions that we use to lose our first and next 50 pounds. The links are down below. And Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for over five years. Watch these two videos and yes, wear your winter boots in the house. I'm scared because you were wired when we started this video and you didn't have any caffeine in you. It's kicking in now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. See ya. Thanks for watching. Peace. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>